Row trapping rats starting today. And I've got a good push up here. So I'm in a small lake here. It's usually a good rat lake, but there doesn't really seem to be a lot. There's a lot of rushes along this lake. So I'm going to put a trap here and keep going. I found one good one back this way. I should have set it, I guess. Go back and set it. So I'll chop this push up open and set a corner bear in it. And keep going, I guess. As you can see, the hole in the push up is too small for a corner bear trap for a 110. What I used to do is I chop the hole open bigger and then I set the trap down inside it. So when the rat swims up, it gets caught. That's what I'm going to do now. Chop this open a little bigger and set my trap. Flush out of it, forgot my little ice thing, so use my hands. I got made. There's a piece of tin where I put the trap on. And this sits against the ice so it can't go the whole thing can't go down. This gets hooked under the jaws. Drop the spring over. The wire to this wire I got here. And there. Go down inside the hole, and the rat swims up there. Lights out. Not my hole big enough. I don't think so. Oh, I'm gonna chop it bigger. I usually try and keep my trap about two or three inches under the surface of the water so if it freezes a little bit at night you get an inch of ice or whatever the trap's not frozen Big enough. Oh, a little big 
through yet. First set of the year, I'm being lazy chopping ice. I'm not making my old big enough. Out of practice. I brought 16 corner bears and two dozen number one stop loss to set. I don't know if I'm going to get them all set or not. This is going to be just a short trap line anyway. I have to. Today is Wednesday, Wednesday, Tuesday. I have to be home Friday morning, so. There, that'll just sit in there like that. See the trap in there? That is probably about an inch under the water. Should be good enough. It's not very cold out. And the rat swims up and get nailed in there. So, carry on. Maybe I'll go back there and set the one I passed and then keep going around. Here's what we use to check rat houses. Push-ups is this metal rod, a spear, sharp on the one end, it's about four feet long. And if it goes all the way down, like this, then it's good. Instead of chopping open a bunch of houses that are frozen, you just check them like this. And this one's good. So I'll chop it open. Set a trap inside it. This is only the second one. Quite a few I've checked are frozen. Mink coals in them. Just the mink are eating good on muskrats this winter. Dug in here and see how it looks inside. Just kind of a big push up. There's two holes and a platform in the middle between the two holes. I think I'm going to set a stop loss here. I'll just set it on the platform in the middle. If the rat gets caught, should jump in one of the holes and drown. We have a nice weed to plug the hole up with that I need.
after stop loss it has the whatever you call this not really a dog maybe it is it's over the back is that it? Yeah. On the platform We have a rack here tomorrow. I've got my ribbon to mark them with, but maybe two sets, so I don't have trouble finding those. And the hole up to the weeds. Carry on, try and find another one. You see some push ups out in the open here on the ice, so we'll go check those next. Now we've got another good house here. This is the third trap I'm going to have set. As you can see there, the mink did tunnel into this one too. The rats plugged it up inside, so I guess the mink didn't kill them all. I see quite a few like that. And the one push up out in the middle there, where I came from, the one I went to set, I was going to go check. It's huge. The hole there's got to be four feet wide. The ice all washed out. There's no way I can set that unless I use carrots for bait and I forgot to bring carrots. I'll get this one set and keep moving. I've got a number one stop off set in there too. I don't know if you can see it. It's just set on a little platform between the holes. So I'll cover this up and that's three set now. 